Hello again, loves. Rebecca here, and welcome back to another British Monroe Design Team layout. So, this is my second to last layout for <laughs> this project um, to finish up the Chicago trip that we took to go see the Dead and Company. Um, this was a a new friend that we met downtown outside our hotel. We were hanging out and having a good time, and this my husband took a picture of from Facebook and it was the, the screenshot and it was um, the set list from, and Bobby Weir put this and he was all heads up to Noblesville. My husband went to note the next show at Noblesville with his daughter. So we'll see some of those coming into play. I do have some of this uh, paper house. I got one. I want to do the deep dish because where else am I going to do the deep dish? And this lovely Jen Hatfield Stardust collection that I have used for this entire Chicago trip. Um, or the dead part of it. I don't think I used it for everything. But as it's Brutus Monroe, we are going to pull in the Stay Rooted die set. And I'm going to make, um, last time I used this, I made a frame. But I think this time I'm going to make a border. So I'm going to cut these and all these fun little funky um, patterns and create a border around the page doing some sort of layered effect. So this is going to take some time. So I'm going to do that off screen running it through my dyeing machine. And then I'm going to come in and we're going to play with some candy coat in purple and aqua pigment in white. I may change the color of the aqua pigments up, but just to create a big background for these photos to sit on. And yeah, so probably going to go through all my scraps and just die cut the heck right out of all the scraps trying to use those up because I've only got one more layout to do and it's us on the way home where Robbie's sunglasses broke. So no big deal. Um, I will have all of the Bruce Monroe stuff linked below. Uh, I don't need any of this stuff. This is just all random stuff sitting in here. I'll probably bring in some of these Spiegel Mom scrap sequins maybe. Probably not because I do have Bruce Monroe sequins that I, should eat, that I think will go better with the collection. Um, this is just everything that I've used from time to time and I just throw it right on here. I do need to try to figure out some of the washi. A lot going on, right? All right. That being said, I'm going to pull some of this together, start die cutting all of my scraps and I'll be right back. So I took the aqua pigment and created a base on that pattern paper background just with a brush. Just swipe, 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 swipe. It took a few layers. I put it on, let it dry, put it on, let it dry just to get, I wanted the real, real white to show. Um, I took a lot of the scraps and fussy cut or fussy cut, die cut. <laughs> that would be awesome if I could fussy cut like this. I cannot use the, the stay rooted dies and then I glued down the very fun little border. Then I took the candy coat and a stencil brush, which is in the dishwasher now. <laughs> and I, it fit right in here, and then I just pounced so that when my photo goes down, it'll just be peeking out in a little peaks and stuff, and it's going to dry, and it's going to be really glittery. My camera is really, my lights are washing out, but it's a beautiful purple on top of the aqua pigment. Then we're going to come in and I want to do some splatters on top. Just a light array. with that aqua pigment and then because we've got the purple going I've got some chroma mist here in lilac purple and I'm going to do splatters in that too just to intensify the background adding a little bit more of a depth and dimension to it. Mixed media is really all about the layering and you just have to remember to let things dry in between each layer. So as the layers dry, I just come in and add a new layer around, but 
I'm not worried about the middle because that's where our photo is going to go, but I am just trying to hit everything that has got aqua pigment. And candy coat on it. That has to properly dry, so I'm just going to set that to the side. Let it dry, and we'll come back and complete the layout. All right, I went ahead and made a big cluster here, a little cluster there, and another little cluster there. You Are Beautiful is the title. And I do hope that you will head over to Brutus Monroe. Pick up the Stay Rooted dye, some aqua pigments, and candy coat because look at this gorge layout. Uh, I really do like the, the brush strokes at the top as well. I think that's really cool and it's like uber dimensional. Plus we have all the fun splattering and stuff in there. With our chroma mist. And that is cool. I'm going to do it for today's layout. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to head over to Burgess Monroe. Check all their stuff out. Um, you will, if you've never used their products, you will absolutely fall in love as I did the first time I used it. Um, do all the fun YouTube things like subscribe, check out their website, go to their Facebook groups. And I will see you guys later with another video. Bye.